Hello, my wonderful and amiable listeners, wherever you might be listening from. Welcome to yet another interesting news. The Oanese Indibo has won President Ashwa Juvala Metinopo and said that northern leaders may work against him if Ruron is declared. As the presidential election petition tribunal PEPC prepares to announce its verdict on the outcome of the 2023 presidential poll, the Oanese Indibo, the Igbo APS social cultural organization, has issued a strong warning to the president Ashwa Jubala Metunumbo. One is in the bow warns that the North might likely work against Ashwa Jubala Metunumbo if the tribunal orders a rerun. Factional Secretary General of the Oanese Indebo, Okechuku Izeguzoro, said Northern leaders are dissatisfied with the president over his leadership style and appointment. The statement by Izeguzoro read partly and said, the Northern leadership and political leaders are dissatisfied with Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu's presidency and are waiting patiently for the presidential election petition tribunal verdict on the 6th of September 2023 to know their line of action. Ohanizi Indigo said that the Northern leadership shut down President Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu's ECOWAS plan invasion of the Niger Republic through the Northern senators, the traditional rulers and their elder statesmen who are unhappy with the president's style of leadership and key appointments of to, to Southwest. The group said they are weighing act options and in case of any presidential rerun election, the North is likely to work against President Ashiwa Jubala Metsunumbu. Oanese Indigo, which is the Igbo social cultural organization in the Federal Republic of Nigeria, which aims to represent the interests of all Igbo communities within and outside Nigeria. Although the group is not a political party, one of its main objectives is to foster unity among its members in order to effectively represent the political interests of Igbos in Nigeria. The Igbo State Union, the precursor of Oanese Indigo, which was founded in 1934 by Igbo elites and intellectuals to advance the interests of Igbos in what was then the colony and protectorate of Nigeria, ruled by the British Empire. After the 1966 anti-Igbo pogrom and the Nigerian Civil War, hundreds of prominent Igbos conveyed to unify Igbos under a new umbrella organization, the Igbo National Assembly. The organization was later banned by the Nigerian military dictatorship from the fears that the existence of the Oanese Indebo as an organization would promote Igbo separatism. Thus, a successor pan Igbo organization, the Oanese Indebo was formed in 1976 by Professor Ben Iwabuizi, who is a constitutional lawyer. The Oanese Indebo organization, which was supported by Kingsley Imadibui, Dr. Francis Akanu Ibiam, Dr. Michael Iyonu Okara Okara, Dr. Pius Okibu, and Chief Jeremy Udoji, who served as the first Secretary General, among other notable Igbos. Amidst the 2023 presidential election petition, the Oanese Indibo have sent strong warning to the President of Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, warning him that it is likely that the Northern leaders may work against him if the tribunal declares a rerun of the 2023 presidential election. Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu, who is a Nigerian politician, who is currently serving as the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. He was a senator in Lagos West in, in the Third Republic. Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu spent his early life in the southwestern Nigeria and later moved to the United States, where he studied accounting at Chicago State University. He returned to the Federal Republic of Nigeria in early 1990s as was employed by Mobi Nigeria as an accountant. Before entering politics as a Lagos West senatorial candidate in 1992 under the banner of the Social Democratic Party. After the dictator Sonia Bacha dissolved the Senate in 1993, Tinubu became an activist campaigning for the return of democracy as the part of the National Democratic Coalition Movement. 
in the first post-transition Lagos State gubernatorial election, Tinubu won by a wide margin as a member of the Alliance for Democracy. Four years later, he won re-election to a second term. After leaving office in 2007, he played a key role in the formation of the All Progressive Congress in 2013. In 2009, following the landslide victory of the People's Democratic Party PDP in the April 2007 election, Tinubu became, became involved in a negotiation to bring together the fragmented position, opposition parties in the mega in the mega party capable of challenging the then ruling People's Democratic Party. In March 2009, there were reports that a plot has been identified to assassinate Tinubu. In February 2013, Tinubu was among several politicians who created a mega political opposition party with a major of Nigeria's three biggest opposition parties, the Action Congress of Nigeria ACN, the Progress for the Congress for Progressive Change CPC, the All Nigerian People Party ANPP, a faction of the All Progressive Guard Alliance ABGA, and the New People Democratic Party, a faction of the Then People Democratic Party, into the All Progressive Congress. In 2014, Tunubu supported former military leader. Military Head of State General Muhammadu Buhari, who was the leader of the Congress for Progressive Change, CPC faction of the All Progressive Congress, who commanded widespread following in northern Nigeria and has previously contested in 2003, 2007 and 2011 presidential election as the CPC presidential candidate. Tinubu went on to play an important role in Buhari administration, supporting government and policies holding on to the important party reins in lieu of his long-held remote presidential aspiration. In 2019, he supported Buhari re-election campaign, defeating the People's Democratic Party PDP candidate al Haji Atiku In 2020, following an internal party crisis, which led to the removal of Ashiwa Jubolame Tinubu Alai and the party chairman Adamu Shiomole. It is believed that the move was to score to Tinubu's presidential prospects ahead of 2023. On the 10th of July, January 2022, Tinubu made his formal announcement for candidacy for president. On the 8th of June 2022, he won the party convention vote of the ruling APC against Yemi Osibajo, the vice president, and Ruti Miyamichi. On the 1st of March 2023, the Independence National Electoral Commission, INEC, declared Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tinubu as the winner of the 2023 general election. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts and your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.